standing here with 2004 Olympian Morgan Hom. Morgan, give us a little idea of what this media summit's all about, what you guys have been doing today, and uh, everything that's been going on this weekend. Well, the media summit is really about the athletes. It's a way for us to promote ourselves and to get the Olympic movement out there to hopefully help people see the Olympics, get interested in the Olympics, and uh, watch us uh, perform in Beijing this summer. Now, you've uh, after 2004, you decided to take a little bit of break, and now you're, you made a comeback, and um, then you sustained an injury. Um, can you give us an update on how that injury is doing and uh, what your plans are for the qualifying meet coming up next week? Uh, yeah, well, I decided to make a comeback um, basically about a year and a half ago. Started training, went to the U.S. Championships, was getting back into it, doing okay. And then one weird day at the gym, I was doing a one-arm scale on high bar, and as I went through the bottom with one arm, I just felt this ripping sensation in my chest. And so I went to the doctor, and they were like, yep, you tore your pack, you're going to need surgery. And I was like, great, what is this going to mean for my Olympic year? So had surgery, you know, I've been recovering for about five months now, five or six months, and I'm feeling great. Um, my, shoulder, or my chest really isn't bothering me at all. I'm back doing routines. I'm really excited for the upcoming qualifier. It should be a great test for me to see where I'm at with all the other guys in the country, what my chances are to make this Olympic team. But I feel like I'm ready to go, and hopefully next week in Colorado Springs will be a good meet. Awesome. And tell us what making this, uh, you, you are a medalist already at the 2004 Olympics. Tell us what making the Olympic team uh, for 2008 would mean to you. Making the Olympic team for uh, this Olympics, 2008 Olympics, would mean a huge deal to me. It would be my last try at Olympic Games, trying to get up onto the medal podium with the team. I know the team had a couple rough years after the 04 Games, and I think that with my brother and myself, we can hopefully help that team get back on the podium. I know they were really close to the last Worlds. They did great fourth place, but I feel like that's the goal that I want to go in there with is just to help the USA get on that podium. What are you gonna? What do you think it's gonna take for Team USA to do overall to make sure that they're uh, in medal contention? Well, I feel like we have a really talented team, and it's gonna come down to hitting routines. When you're out there in Olympic Games and you're raising your hand three of three counts, you know there's a lot of pressure on you. And usually, the team that goes out there and hits the most routines is gonna be at the top. And I feel like with the guys that are. are you know, possibilities to be on this team. We have a really strong team. We can compete with almost any team in the world. I feel like if we hit our sets, we'll be on that podium. What's the one thing you have to take with you when you travel to a competition? Um, I always bring my iPod for any competition. I love to listen to music before and uh, also just sometimes after workout or before bed just to relax because there's so many things going on. There's so many things you have to worry about to just listen to some music and kind of let your mind wander a little bit is nice. Do uh, you have any superstitions when you go into a competition at all? I don't have any superstitions. I know some people do. I know Blaine Wilson. I've talked to him a little bit about his. He used to turn the TV on, I think, and also the sink and make sure that everything was all set up a certain way, and that would make his day better in the competition. But for me personally, I just like to take a nap before the meet, listen to some music, and just you know, kind of psych up. Who are your role models, uh, both in the sport of gymnastics and you know, any other athletes that you, you might admire? Well, for me personally, uh, one athlete that I looked up to greatly when I was a young gymnast was Vitaly Sherbo, and I just loved the way he did gymnastics. He made it look so easy. He had such style. Um, also, some American athletes like Lance Reno looked up to him a lot. As far as other sports, I'm, I mean, Michael Jordan is someone that I watched when I was a young kid, and I was just amazed at how cool he was under pressure and, you know, to be able to go out there and hit those shots when everyone was counting on him. I, want, I would love to be like that and have, you know, be able to hit that routine when everyone's counting on you, the last guy up, you know, and stick that dismount. So those are things and the people that I looked up to. What are the biggest strengths you feel that you would bring to the Olympic team? I feel like I would bring a lot to this Olympic team. For one, my experience. I've been to two Olympic Games, um, World Championships. I've medaled at both the World and Olympic Games. So I've competed under pressure before. I know how to hit when, you know, everyone's counting on me. So I think that the team could look up to myself and Paul as well to you know be kind of the rocks on the team to and they can lean on us make sure you know we do our job and then they can do their job after that. Hi my name is Morgan Hom and you're watching gymnast.com.